ഓക്കെ ഓക്കെ സ്റ്റാർട്ട് and by this point i hope everyone has um, a clear picture of what uh, next design is all about okay because i hope uh, we do because um, e module thought aayirikka nammal oru actual ux design project cheyan povu and in this project we will be following a design process it's also called user centered design you can look it up on google one um and in e module e module and session at it edukkan povunu innatha session um will i will be taking it i am uh, i am sachin and i am joined by manas in the call today he will be taking the next session uh okay and before i start uh, just want to remind everyone um uh, to check out our instagram page ux shorts uh if you want to learn more about ux you know stuff that is outside the bootcamp syllabus then please go check it out uh we post a lot of great educational content about ux and please po- leave a follow if you haven't already thank you okay so let's begin uh ux design uh idil uh, what does ux stand for it stands for ux user experience so who exactly is this user? everything that uh, we've learned so far in this bootcamp and everything that we will be learning in the upcoming modules all of it revolves around this user so our ultimate goal as ux designers is to uh, design a product for the user uh when the user comes to us they have some uh, needs and requirements we take those requirements and turn them into uh, products and these products uh, we hope will uh, satisfy their needs now uh, i want to show you a familiar conversation uh, a conversation that may, that may be familiar to some of you um so i need to show off many of you have uh, went to a friend and asked them like rahul log like can you make a poster for me or how many of you are that friend who makes logos and posters for your adults yeah okay good uh so i'm sure you must be familiar with uh, this conversation here uh first friend will call them the client will come to uh, the designer friend we'll call it uh, designer the client will come to the designer and they will uh, um, uh, like state their requirements um and the uh, designer will take these requirements and do something show it to the client client will suggest some changes and we'll go back and forth like that um so if the like a graphic design context this happens uh but let's uh, look at it from a uh, from in a uh, ux design context where you're designing a product so a product or an experience where the user has to come keep coming back to this product and uh, they have to continue to experience it over a period of time so uh in that case uh so so that is a similar kind of similar right <clears throat> like uh, the user will have some uh, some needs and we just uh, we take those requirements and we just design a solution uh but uh, the thing is that is incorrect the requirements will only give you um half of the solution the other half is in understanding the user uh but why do we to understand the user uh it's because um use uh users um so uh, so i i'm going to take the previous conversation and give it 
different uh, uh, give it a twist in the context of a, a ux product okay so here the client is coming to me and asking me to create a screen uh, called create your account and here they are giving me a list of fields like if you when you download an app for the first time uh, what you first see is login and sign up when you click on sign up uh, it takes you to uh, create your account screen but all the other fields are like full name password phone number and the otp um, your con other contact information whatever it is our client in any case got a list of requirements in the uh, so say if i just take all these requirements and <clears throat> turn it into um, turn it into a screen uh, so this is what i get so in this case i haven't done any user research i just uh, took those requirements and i turned it into a design so what i have here is just one screen and ella field them like one by one from top to bottom ingane lay down cheyirikkana and it's like one long scroll after filling each field one by one i have to come to the bottom click on the finish button or whatever and uh, move on with the app now <laughs> excuse me let's say um we are pushing this design to um the app store or the play store and what happens is the user it was noticed uh, that uh, many users where they download the app they come to the screen uh, to create uh, an account but then they jump off they they quit the app uh, they don't seem to continue on to the further screens in the app so what went wrong here the thing is um at a time you are looking at a lot of information and it is very tedious to like go one by one uh, through each field and then come to the bottom and then click next like um, this the creator account screen is usually the first screen that uh, you see when you download an app for the first time and um, first impressions are important so so uh, so let's uh, first impressions are important and um and it, it can affect the uh the, the whole the entire experience of the app like it could even cause the user to not even experience the app at all so let's say i go out and i actually do some user research and i talk to some people who uh will probably use the app in the future i talk to them i interview them i try to understand who these users are so from my research the insight i got was um these users are not very patient and they have a very short attention span and they don't like seeing too many things going on in their screen at a time it might you know, there is a chance that it might lead them to uh, quit out of the experience so with that insight i redesigned the screen and this is what i got so what i've done is yan uh, he related a couple of fields and let the group i group them into four different categories first one is basic information and so on so what i got here was um at a time the screen does not overwhelm you and your focus can be limited to just these three fields at a time and once i finish these uh, filling in these fields i can click next go to the next category and shift my focus to uh, that section of this entire uh sign up flow right so uh that's that's how much difference that user research can make for your app experience like this could potentially lead to more users um not drop out of the experience from the very beginning and say i went out and did even further user research uh, and i figured out and i uh, got the insight that most of these fields that the client suggested earlier were not really useful or relevant to the user uh, so i tell uh, so the client doesn't know that and i don't know that but i know it now because i did the i did my research and i go back to the client and i tell them um like uh, these fields are not really relevant to our users the client agrees and we decide to remove remove some of these fields and that could lead to um like Uh, like being able to delete an entire uh, section of this entire flow so um, in the end it made this entire sign up flow much more uh, easier and less tedious for the user 
Next, I'll show you a real-world example of how um, user research, why user research is very important. <clears throat> the, we're all familiar with this remote, right? We all uh, probably had had one of these in our households at one point or another. And um, can anyone tell me like what all is wrong with this design? You can leave that if you want, or you can speak. Yeah. Uh, bro. Uh, power like, button. Like, oh, power pull. Uh, normal remote like power button le red down on our right, but a green on our right. It's only a difference. Okay, fair point. Volume channel button. I'm saying not a remote on the TV action menu guide, home discover back in order. Yeah, why in it? So yellow, blue, green, and then what is it doing? All of yeah, so Okay, so yeah, those are all valid points. Yes. Um yeah. Like everyone said, there are like way too many buttons, reward buttons, on them, and they're all cramped together. There is like very little space in between them. And uh, they buttons and labels and it might be hard to read for someone um, who is older uh, or visually impaired. And the, the worst part is this design is actually sold uh, to this date in the latest smart TVs. And but still, uh, it is a uh, very problematic design, um, even for its target users. Like currently, most of our generation has moved on from uh, these remotes. Like uh, we moved on to streaming services. Right? So we don't really use this remote anymore. We probably use our smartphones as remotes. And it's uh, so its current target audience, especially them, they have a hard they might have a hard time to use this because um they are an older generation right they um might, be, might get confused by all these controls and there is also the fat thing problem that is like too many buttons crammed into small uh, space which may cause mis misclicks and um so yeah so, uh, this, so why so why does this take like why is this still being sold uh, in this day and age it's because um, the big and clearly no user search has gone behind it. Now I'm going to show you an example of a TV remote where uh, extensive user research has been done. This is the app remote, and um, like the name suggests, this was designed by Apple. Uh, and as you can see, there are far less buttons and buttons like very with appropriate size so on, and very comfortably spaced uh, so that misclicks won't happen. And they were able to eliminate um, many of the, uh, like in the old uh, remote, the entire top section has been uh, like cut short. Like we don't need the numpad anymore because we've started to move on from cable TV and set the boxes like a Shannon. So we don't need to like, input numbers to find channels. Like we have streaming services now. Um, similarly, at the bottom, you can see like very complicated media controls. And there is a separate uh, button for play and pause, which doesn't make sense because you can't play and pause. You can't have a video playing and being paused at the same time. So, um, so all of these issues have been resolved in this very um, design. And it is very clear that a lot of user research, a lot of um, studying the users has gone behind this design. Once again, it is, uh, we can see how much of a difference users make in uh, designing good products. So uh, now I think I've convinced everyone why we need user research. 
Now I'm going to um, talk about how we can do these other steps. Uh, the first step is to identify the user. Uh, now uh, I'm going to take an example. An example item by uh, Anangi. An e-commerce website develop on it. I'll design it on and uh, with electronics mother selling an e-commerce website. Um, apart from the user selling, where I'm betting on sellers on buyers on sellers now, then there can be individual sellers or like there are companies that sell other products, right? So, um, just for the sake of explanation, I'm going to consider the um, buyer or the customer as my user here. Um, now that I have identified my next step, this is the most important part of this session, by the way. Uh, here, we have to create a user persona using this uh, buyer user. So what is a user persona? It is defined as a fictional character that collectively represents all the users of a certain type. OK? If um, we're crowd of, imagine there's a crowd of buyers. Okay, and a, a, a person, like a fictional character, an individual that is supposed to represent all of these buyers, right? Like this, uh, this uh, fictional character will have all the characteristics of uh, all the buyers combined. Um, so a user, so a user persona is it? Uh, it basically looks kind of like an infographic. Uh, this is a very basic um, visual of what a user persona could look like. It's a very uh, basic persona. There is, um, uh, okay, so I'll go through this persona one. Uh, like there are different parts of this person. I'll go through them one by one. First is the image of the person. Um, the, we use an image so that it is easy for us to uh, visualize this person, right? Uh, it should be like someone that we could see. Uh, then I gave this persona a name, an age, uh, an occupation, and I wrote a small biography of this person. And I've done this in the uh, context of the uh, e-commerce website uh, that I just talked about. Um, and I've also written down goals and frustrations. Uh, so these are all characteristics that uh, describe how uh, this person, this fictional person behaves when is going through the experience of uh, buying something from an e-commerce website. So goals on the bottom above, it's like, um, like he had a e-commerce website to be taken, how would I achieve it? He, uh, so in this example, like he likes to buy through his smartphone, he likes to um, see uh, every, all, all information about pricing very clearly, stuff like that. And first of all, it's like uh, you have to navigate and edit, uh, um, Navigation bar around, he gets frustrated, irritated, uh, stuff like that. So, uh, user persona on Dakum will take it doesn't have to be in this specific layout um, all the time. If you Google user persona, you can find many different kinds of uh, layouts. Like, this is another layout. There is some additional information here. Like, we can see his uh, income is also given, and the section that uh, shows his expertise in various um, in uh, various types of uh, events. I think he's an event uh, an influencer, and I think he does these kinds of uh, events. I think, uh, and this is another persona here. We can see that like our introvert or uh, impatient or uh, team player or. Uh, uh, I rent because uh, the competency in you know, like what are, uh, platforms are comfortable. And you don't even have to use uh, the image of a real person. You can use any description as long as you are able to visualize the person clearly. <laughs> so uh, that is ultimately the point here. Like we, are, we should be able to see this fictional person as a real person. And um, so the point, the so why we have uh, have to put all this effort into creating this fictional character is that um, so that we can uh, feel a kind of deeper connection to this person, like we can see from uh, 
the perspective of this person much more uh, clearly. Uh, <coughs> so, much more clearly and uh, and that that is the goal of user research, right? Like we need to understand the user. So I think this uh, user persona is a very effective way to understand. It. So um, we have complete. So now that we know how to make user persona, I think um, we could do that as the task for this session. So that is the task that I'm assigning you. Uh, this is the problem statement. You are designing an e-commerce website that sells accounts. Uh, and you have to create a user persona of a buyer who will use that website. <clears throat> and I think the task will be shared by Arun uh, through Discord, right? Okay. Yeah, yes. And and after user persona, we have uh, a bit more to do in uh, user research, like field study, interviews, and all that. Um, that will be taken by Manas in the upcoming session. Thank you. Any questions? Uh, e user persona in the session at the English and a task a persona on a user centered analysis. Sila first chiam on a task is creating a persona. Persona creation lending and doubt on English. Ipa such under the show the can before you drop off the call. Uh, like Ipa number user persona create a letter. Imaginary to address the amount of number for a person on that kill the promise number of persona will be like put in on that person. Like he persona takes up to represent the group of number in the and then we make a persona based on those two people, then totally looking at those two people as our use case. So it's better okay. to um, keep our horizons wide. Okay. Especially like Korsi Alkarde, frustrations are carrying it, improving our Sunday. I put Namaka our experience uh, on the You search so, an interview, very important so, part of the that comes after creating the user persona. We come back to the persona and make uh, like either we could add more information that we gain from these interviews or we could uh, correct whatever uh, assumptions that we already made. Okay. A persona fictitious character in the Anna Parana. Upon number the UCA, Chayimbo, numbered assumptions on a persona. If e commerce, the task is like e commerce, Lana, upon the assumptions of a chula persona. If the Karinitan in the field studies interview of a chaditer, if your assumptions are wrong, you have to come back and change your persona. Okay. Where and England out on the keep and show the kia because the little task is the Thorgum and the cup on English Takai on the Chia and Patilla. So, since you have the mentor here, please ask doubts. Just on note on the Ganiku and the king, including in the line. Okay, can't come back share. Just to hear example in the Matra reference at the Kamian Parilla, like for school catching mock it, uh, waiting on the mantle. Parna did like to find a basic form. Then I either format it and change it. You have a four size and then the other one. Say, do still the one of many formats on other. Uh, just it has to describe this uh, person. 
ലൈക്ക് മിനിമം റിക്വയർമെന്റ്സ് ഉണ്ടോ ഇപ്പൊ ഗോൾസ് വേണം ഫസ്റ്റ് വേണം അങ്ങനെ ഒരാളുടെ മാത്രം ണെങ്കിൽ അയാൾക്ക് നിങ്ങളിപ്പോ ക്രൗഡ് ഓഫ് ബയസ് നോക്കണല്ല ഫോർ എക്സാമ്പിൾ ഒരു 18 to 50 or something like that. So, that's what we have done. Yes. So, what is the crowd in the representative? Yes. And, Sachin, what demographic are we going to do within Kerala, India, and India? That's what we have done in our e-commerce website. Like business goal. ആണ് പക്ഷെ നമ്മൾ കോണ്ടക്സ്റ്റ് സെറ്റ് ചെയ്യണ്ടേ അങ്ങനെയാണെങ്കിൽ ഒരാളുടെ യൂസ് ആൻഡ് പേഴ്സൺ നമുക്ക് നമ്മുടെ തന്നെ കൊടുക്കാൻ നിങ്ങള് യു എക്സ് ഡിസൈനർ ആണെങ്കിൽ നിങ്ങള് നിങ്ങളുടെ കൊടുക്കരുത് നിങ്ങള് നിങ്ങളല്ല യൂസർ എന്ന് വിചാരിക്കുക നിങ്ങൾ യൂസർ ആയിരിക്കാം ഇ കോമേഴ്സിൽ നിങ്ങൾക്ക് കുറെ കാര്യങ്ങൾ അറിയാം പക്ഷെ നിങ്ങൾ ഡിസൈൻ ചെയ്യുമ്പോൾ നിങ്ങൾ ഒരു സെറ്റ് ഓഫ് യൂസേഴ്സിന് വേണ്ടിയിട്ടാണ് ഈ യൂസർ അനാലിസിസ് ചെയ്യുന്നത് എന്നുള്ളൊരു അസംഷനിലാണ് ചെയ്യുന്നത് അപ്പൊ നമുക്ക് നമ്മുടെ പേഴ്സോൺ എന്താണ് ഫിക്ഷൻ അതിലുള്ളത് നമുക്ക് അറിഞ്ഞൂടെ എനിക്ക് ഇതാണ് ഇഷ്ടം എനിക്ക് ഇന്ന ഇലക്ട്രോണിക്സ് ആണ് ഇഷ്ടം എന്ന് എന്റെ ഫ്രസ്ട്രേഷൻ ഇത് എന്റെ ഗോൾസ് എന്ന് എനിക്കറിയാലോ അപ്പൊ അങ്ങനെ ചെയ്യരുത് അതിലൊരു Uh, that is not the proper way to question one question on what you are saying okay right okay person basically uh, you are coming up you are coming up with a fictional character like this character uh, is an existing all i like that um this character is supposed to represent your users right ningalde ee e-commerce website inde user aata ana buyer alle as in if website vannu and products vaangina aalkaraana ningalde users appo ee group of users ne represent cheyanayittu ottu raal representation means aa oru aa oru persona ee oru crowd of aalkaru ella ella goals and frustrations ella ee oru persona ke nadakkam illa and i mean for people who are going to represent it എക്സാമ്പിൾസ് ഷെയർ ആക്കാൻ ഈ മീറ്റ് ഈ കോൾ റെക്കോർഡ് ആവത്തില്ല അപ്പം ഷെയർ ചെയ്യുന്നുണ്ടല്ലോ ഷെയർ ചെയ്യും അതല്ലാതെ നിങ്ങൾ സ്വന്തമായിട്ട് ഗൂഗിൾ ചെയ്ത് നോക്കാം യൂസർ പെർസോണ എന്ന് ഗൂഗിൾ ചെയ്ത് കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ ഈ സെയിം എക്സാമ്പിൾസ് തന്നെ കിട്ടും ഞാൻ ഈ എക്സാമ്പിൾസ് സ്പെസിഫിക് ആയിട്ട് തരുന്നില്ല ബിക്കോസ് നിങ്ങൾ ഇത് മാത്രമേ ഫോക്കസ് ചെയ്യുള്ളൂ വേറെന്തെങ്കിലും 
ఫిక్షన్ ఆల్డర్ పర్సన్ అంటారు సచినే టాస్క్ క్లియర్ ఆయిట్ మనసిలాయో ఎనికి ఇప్పుడు ఒక సంశయం ఇది డౌట్ గా కాణుబో నేను టాస్క్ ఒన్నోడ రిపీట్ చేదే പറയാം మనం అందరం యూస్ చేయనా ఈ కామర్స్ వెబ్‌సైట్ లే మనం ఆన్లైన్ షాపింగ్ చేయనవరాన ఈ కామర్స్ వెబ్‌సైట్ యూస్ చేయదియాన అప్ప ఎలక్ట్రానిక్స్ సెల్ చేయను ఈ కామర్స్ వెబ్‌సైట్ ఉండ మనం అదిన్ యుఎక్స్ డిజైనర్స్ అప్ప మనం ఇదిన్ యూజర్ సెంటర్డ్ అనాలసిస్ ఇన్ ఫస్ట్ స్టెప్ ఆన మనం టాస్క్ ఐట్ చేయా పోవున అప్ప మనకు ఏకదేశం మనకు రీసెర్చ్ కొరేక అరియా మనకు ఎంగనే ఆల్కార్ వాంగికినా నకి ఇపార్ ఎల్లార్కు అరియా ఐరికి మనసు లైక్ ఒక కామన్ సెన్స్ సానాన అప్ప మనం ఒక యూజర్ పర్సోనే క్రియేట్ చేయా ఆఫ్ అ బయర్ హూ విల్ పర్చేస్ ఫ్రమ్ ద వెబ్‌సైట్ అప్ప మీడ ఒక ఇమాజినేషన్ ఆన మీరు క్రియేట్ చేయన ఒక క్యారెక్టర్ ఆన ఓకే సో ఇట్ కెన్ బి లైక్ ఎనికి പറയാൻ പറ്റും అప్ప సచిన్ പറഞ്ഞു 18 టు 50 ఇయర్స్ అన్న అప్ప నేను క్రియేట్ చేయన పోన చెలపో ట్వంటీ సెవెన్ ఇయర్స్ ఉల్ల టెక్నో పార్కి వర్క్ చేయనే సంబడి ఓకే లెట్ సే జోన్ అని పరే ఒక ఆల్ భయంకర గ్యాడ్జెట్ ఫ్రీక్ ఆన్ జోన్ ఇన్ 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 ఎన్న కాయంగలకాన ఇష్టం జోన్ ఎప్పుడు ఈ సైట్ కరి సాధన వాంగికు అన్న పరే నేను ఉండకున్న ఆలాన ఈ జోన్ ఎనిక జోన్ ఇన్ అరియతిల్ల నేను జోన్ ఇన్ కండిటిల్ల పక్షే ఎండె ఎండె పర్సోన జోన్ ఆన్ జోన్ ఇన్ సాధన వాంగికు ఇన్ ఇన్ గోల్స్ ఉండ జోన్ ఇన్ 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 ఫ్రస్ట్రేషన్స్ ఉండ అప్ప నేను క్రియేట్ చేద ఈ జోన్ ఇన్ పట్టి ఆన్ నేను ఈ పర్సోనే సంసారికున్నది అదా మీకు తెరన టాస్క్ మీకు జోనో జేకబ్బో సచినో మాలుో బేసిలో మానసో ఆర వేణో క్రియేట్ చేయ పక్షే మీరు క్రియేట్ చేయన ఒక క్యారెక్టర్ ఆన్ ఈ పర్సోన క్లియర్ అల్లే అరుణే ఐ క్లియర్ అయ్యి చే ఓకే బికాజ్ ఇది టాస్క్ చేదొడుంగుమ అరుణ్ అన్న క్వశ్చన్స్ వరు టు స్కోర్ ఓకే హన్న ఓకే అండ్ ఇది ఎంద ఇది ఒక షార్ట్ సెషన్ ఆన బికాజ్ పర్సోన్ ఏ పట్టి మాత్రే టచ్ చేదిటొల్లు ఈ పర్సోన్ చేయాదా మీరు అడత సెషన్ ఆర్ అడత టాస్క్ లోట్ పోవాన్ పట్టిల్ల సో దట్ ఇస్ ఎ సిగ్నిఫికెన్స్ ఆఫ్ దిస్ పర్సోన్ ఆ క్రియేషన్ ఈ పర్సోన్ చేయాదా మీరు అడత టాస్క్ చేయాన్ పట్టుమని విచారికే వేండ అదొండ డౌట్ ఉండెంగిల అరుణ్ అడుతు చోదిచ్ క్లారిఫై చేదిట్ చేయ డెడ్ లైన్ అండ్ నెక్స్ట్ సెషన్ నెక్స్ట్ సెషన్ నెక్స్ట్ వీక్ ఆన హోప్ఫుల్లీ వెనస్డే తన్న ఐరికి డెడ్ లైన్ అరుణ పరేన అరుణ పర్ను ఎక్స్టెన్షన్ <laughs> ఓకే అప్పో గైస్ ఐ థింక్ ఎల్లా డౌట్ ఉం క్లియర్ అయింది అన్న సో థాంక్యూ సచిన్ చాటా ఫర్ ద సెషన్ థాంక్యూ మాను చేచి థాంక్యూ బేసిల్ చాటా థాంక్యూ మానస్ చాటా థాంక్యూ థాంక్యూ థాంక్యూ